Here's another one for the not so faint hearted. I have got these lovely blue, big blue lenses and I wanted to do a tutorial for it. Eating a raspberry I found this lovely colour and I just thought, oh, you know, I think I can match an eyeshadow look to this using a colour very similar to this. So um, this is the look. I'm going to incorporate it as part of my Christmas series for the moment and then obviously take it out and just let it stay on my channel. Um, for any other time anyone wants to do something wacky like this. It's a, a look that's very, that's very similar to one that I created a couple of days ago. Uh, again, just using the same products but just changing the look ever so slightly. So the focus on this one here is gonna be the lenses. Now I've applied a white base, put on a um, fleshy shimmery pigment around the um, inner corner all the way up to where the eye would finish if looking straight ahead. And then I'm applying a purple in the crease. I'm going to apply a little bit, blend out with a very soft brush, and then apply some more and blend out and do this probably about three to four times till I get a nice fade. You'll notice with the eye base, I went past my eyes down towards my cheekbone, and that's because I want a really nice sharp edge at the end. So I'm just blending away. And then adding more colour. Then adding a red pigment to the outer corner in very small strokes and just keeping it very contained to the outer corner. And then using the brush to um, just sweep it towards the um, lighter colour and then blend back on itself so it creates a fade in between there as well. And then just going back and deepening the colour and then applying some underneath. Now I know it looks really vampirish at the moment. Um, nothing to do with the fact that the new... Um, uh, vampire film, the twilight film is out. <laughs> it's more to do with um, just wanting to use that red, I guess. I then deepened that red with a little purple pigment and then applied some more of that light colour on the top just to blend into that red to, to sort of sweep it back and forth um, just so that I don't get a harsh edge there. Again, always working with really small strokes just will mean that the red doesn't go everywhere. I wanted the eyes to be the focus of this look, so I've applied a really strong um, highlight colour, a white pigment to the inner corner, and I'm not going to blend it, I'm going to leave it there to make it look quite striking. Applying also a bit to the middle of the eye there, wider at the base, and then slimmer on top. Then using a Q-tip to, to drag the eyeshadow underneath upwards, and that creates a really nice um, edge there. There's no need for sellotape or anything like that when, when doing this. You can just quite easily do something like this. It's just, I think, much more kinder to the area and the skin around there. Then applying a blue liner, sort of a medium line, not too thick, not too thin. And that just brings that the eye colour in a little bit more. Then I'm going to apply a blue pencil on the waterline. And then a black underneath that as well. But before I do that, I'm going to do my foundation. Nice thick layer, dust it off with powder. I just wanted it to be a really flawless foundation. But obviously, if you were ever to, I don't expect anyone to do this, but if you do, then obviously go light on all the colours and change it to suit yourself. I just wanted to play with the, the colour in the lenses here. So applying a really nice, gentle pink colour to the... Um, the apple of the cheeks there and then a highlighter just in this area here just to brighten and define that line even more applying a soft pink lipstick and that's the look done so now it's time for me to pose <laughs> like silly I love the look I didn't think it was vampirish at all and the base was beautiful there's a taupey one I've also done a coral one the original bridal one to this look is here which is a lot sparklier on the eyes. I've also done this green one which is, is different and a nice flicked eyeliner. All the products will be listed in my blog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!